welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create five option hanging animated infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. The icons goes down and it will reveal the description or the information of the options. The other slide I did with white options. It will slide down and it will reveal the information here. Option 3, Option 4 and Option 5. So let's see how to do this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide. Go to Insert, Shapes and select a Oval Shape. Make the height and width as 1.4 inches. Remove the outline, press Ctrl D to duplicate, keep this aside for later use and make one more Ctrl D and this you can make it either 1 or 0.75 inches. Change the color, 0.75 is very small, I think we need to make it 1. Select both the options and align center and middle. I can, I'm going to just change the background of the slide. Put a gradient fill with the light gray. Select the green oval shape and change the color to white. And go to properties, shadow. Use this option and go to shapes again insert a rectangle make sure that uh, the rectangle should not go outside of the oval shape the size should be within or equal size make white color and send to back The height you can make it something 3.15. I'm going to just change the color of the blue circle, select the gradient and give the color of your choice. In this case, I'm just going to give some orange, dark orange and light orange. and format painter the other one the other oval shape also use the same gradient fill for the later use i'm going to insert the text change the font to oswald make it bold and increase the size and bring it on the top of the white oval shape press ctrl d Reduce the font size and type the title or the heading. And put it on the rectangle shape. I'm going to insert some description. Add one more text box. Type equals lorem within brackets 1. It will give you some Latin text and then you can later on you can change your text here. I'm going to use a font called Helvetica. Reduce the size. And align it.
go to insert shapes and select one more rectangle this is i'm just going to create a a bar on the top where the options will be hanging with that make it no outline and give a gray color and bring this somewhat up I'm just going to enable the guidelines go to insert shape and select a arrow and draw the arrow the here the arrow is pointing upwards we need to make it downwards make the oval shape for this make it none you have to make sure that the lines are the arrows are perfectly straight now select all the options press control d and i'm just going to make remaining four options this is option number 2 option number 3 you have to spend some more time here to do the right alignment this is option 4 and this is option 5 I'm just trying to align it properly with the right spacing just change this text to option 2, 3, 4 and 5 And I'm going to add the arrow for the remaining options. Press Ctrl D and add to the option 3. And while increasing the line size, just make sure to hold the shift key so that it will come the straight line. As I said earlier, you have to spend some more time to do the proper alignment. Now I'm just going to change the color for the remaining options. You can select two different colors or you can just select the shades, two different shades. In this case, I'm just going to use some pink and light pink. some green color and light green color so you can choose any color of your choice But make sure that the colors are contrasting, it should not be blend with uh, the background. Use some very nice and good colors for your eyes. Now the colors has been changed. I'm just going to set all the other options, the color and just press Ctrl D 
so that I can use for some other purpose. I'm just going to copy the icons on each oval shape which I got the icons from www.thenounproject.com you can, you can download for free and group it just copy the options oh, sorry the icons bring to front So just copy the remaining icons on each oval shape. Make sure the icons are center aligned and group it now I'm just going to put this the oval shape with the icons on top of the numbers the options that will slide down and reveal the information again make sure that to align it properly spend some time and do the right job So I've just covered all the options, all the numbers with the icons here. The next thing is I'm just going to group the text and the rectangle and always say send to back. So group all the text make sure that you should not group the any oval shape here so I have grouped it now I'm just going to do the animation part go to animation enable the animation pane and add animation go down under motion path select line this will go down make it further down to cover till this part and if I play the options go down I think this is not properly aligned so I'm just making it to the right yeah this is okay now the second animation I'm just going to do for the the text the rectangle for that I'm just going to use wipe make it from top and the timings make it medium and say with previous now if I see the slideshow you can see this is okay the last which I forget to add is the shadow for that I'm going to add one more oval shape go to the format shape right mouse click format shape and under gradient 
first of all make it no outline and the type select as path I'm just going to reverse this color for the white selection make it transparency 100% and for the gray just increase the size and we need to change the color to maybe black just see the transparency level make it black again black to 100% so just adjust it and you can go to the other properties and soft edges increase the size and bring it down and for this I'm just going to give the animation I'm going to use fade fade with previous and just adjust the slider here and if I play and then the shadow comes make it properly aligned Yeah, uh, this is okay now I'm just using the format animation painter I'm just going to copy the animation now select the rectangle animation painter and apply it to this rectangle and just Ctrl D duplicate and bring it here so you can see that animations are happening now animation painter for the third option and select the option the text of the second and apply to the third just apply again I just press ctrl Z I thought it was not done and this also press ctrl D and bring it here Select the third option and apply it on the fourth option. and adding animation to the last option I think this uh, animation painter or option is not there in 2010 that's what I remember but I think from 2013 it is there so let's see the final result so option 1 goes down, slides down and will reveal the information, option 2, option 3, option 4 and the last option 5. That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university, see you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.